Okay, story number two. This is this is big. This is big. Twitter lost upwards of possibly up to 95% of its workforce after Elon Musk put many on notice, then did it again, offering only three months severance, which some people think is very generous. Some people don't. Uh, in a rocky economy, the ones who were left were able to not only keep Twitter moving forward, but watch as Twitter is the most vocal social media platform this week. Not only that, Musk did a public poll with his followers to see if Donald J. Trump should be reinstated, and over 15 million people voted on one of the largest ever internet polls, and the resounding community said yes, and Donald's account not only got reinstated, but grew to 87 million people overnight. This makes President Biden's account look very small in comparison. Twitter also reinstated Ye West, Babylon B, and many other conservative voices. Many mainstream media outlets protested immediately and began making declarations they would pull out and must seem to just troll them, including CBS and Jimmy Fallon. CBS said they were pulling out when they did an investigation. The investigation lasted two days and they went back on. CBS has been losing ratings and losing viewers for a number of years now. And I think this would have cost them too much when they, they claim to be more of a middle ground reporting institution. But they ended up coming back and uh, Elon even trolled them when they came back. Jimmy Fallon said he was leaving forever. And uh, Elon must seem to troll him as well as probably a hundred other people too. He's been very active uh, as when he says he's the chief twit, he really is. He's tweeting all the time, responding to little guys and responding to big guys. Twitter seems to be the place to talk about noteworthy news right now with its armchair journalists and social commentators. And it's been really interesting to watch just different people's responses. I've, I've had a lot more engagement on Twitter than I've ever had because I think a lot of conservatives are going back there. Now, if you've heard my spiritual or prophetic perspective, I believe that God's giving freedom of speech back to Americans and back to the world through social media platforms like Twitter. And I think that we're going to see a big change because God wants to raise up voices right now that are going to last decades. And so these voices need places to emerge. And we're watching places like sometimes YouTube, sometimes Facebook, Instagram, and others take voices out take them down because they disagree with core pol politics or core policy. And that's not freedom of speech. If we say something that is terroristic, if we say something that's scary or a threat against somebody else, I agree, take them down. But if you say something that's just emotionally different or disconnected from your philosophy of life, that should not be taken down. These are not extremist statements like an extreme Muslim and extreme Christian and then a normal Christian are being compared to the same thing. A normal Republican is being compared to people who are extremists in, in the Republican community, that's not fair. And so we're seeing Twitter is rebalancing instantly. We're seeing a, a coming to the middle of, hey, can we play nice? Can we play fair? And this will put pressure on Facebook, who's lost more money than any company in history because of their agenda. Uh, Facebook and Instagram, WhatsApp, all these apps that they have are losing people by the, the millions every month. Millions are leaving Facebook every month this year. So. We're watching that happen, and a lot of it is because people don't feel safe there anymore. They don't feel connected there anymore. I love one uh, Twitter uh, responder said, now it's time to take out pornography. And Elon said, check, got it. We're working on that. So it looks like that where Twitter has been this incredible, awful place for pornography where all this, uh, all the, the checks and balances aren't there. People could be any age and be on there for pornography. It looks like they're going to do a sweep over that too. Let's pray for that because a lot of human trafficking happens over their social media apps because of this pornography that gets on there. So that's really exciting to me as well.